could you just start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself, what you do, and uh, why you came on the Quality of Mind program? Sure, yeah. Um, so my name's Anthony Cooper, and I run a business, a manufacturing business in Gloucestershire called What's Your Name Products. Um, and uh, I, um, my background is, is technical uh, businesses and, and manufacturing businesses and turning those businesses around, often, often businesses that are in a bit of trouble. And I came on the course because um, one of the directors of the group that owns the business that I run um, is involved in the Quality of Mind program and, and made some suggestions and some books that I should read. Um, and then we had subsequent discussions and uh, he, he thought it might be a good idea if I came on the course. And, and after reading those books, I agreed with him. And, and if you were to summarise the nub of what you think this work is about... What, how would you how how would you summarise it? Um, I guess it would be uh, about shifting your uh, or understanding what thought is, and then um, the and then how you then have the ability once you understand what thought is and how it affects your life, um, how. You, you have the ability to change your thought and therefore how you perceive and behave um, life and the world around you. And what benefits do you see that that can have for people? Well, um, so I, it can, it basically opens up an endless amount of possibilities because it enables you to do things that you perhaps at one time thought were extremely difficult or impossible. Um, I have a specific case where um, uh, I became a vegetarian and, and if you'd asked me before uh, being on this course if, if that would have been possible, I would have categorically told you no. Um, and that's not to say you're not gonna go on this course and become a vegetarian. It was you know, something personal to me. Um, but really the, the takeaway there is that um, previously um, I would have categorically told you that that was never going to happen and it was impossible because I liked to eat meat too much um, and subsequently I am a vegetarian. Uh, and, and don't feel any, you know, don't, don't miss it, don't feel any the worse for it. Um, so it's just that, and that really is about a change of thinking. That's about how you are, how you think about things. Um, and then how that enables you to act. Great. And and what? So changing that thinking. What what other impact or or benefits? Do, so you've given a specific example there. I'm thinking about making it work relevant. How do you see yeah. shifting thinking and shifting behaviour impacting you in your work and or indeed others that do this type of thing? So uh, one of the significant things that um, or benefits that I had from the course was um, was the ability to form closer and better relationships with other people. Um, so by understanding your own thinking and how you are behaving and acting in a certain situation, uh, you can then um, well you can translate that to actually how other people are thinking and acting and behaving. Uh, towards you or towards other situations so you get a much better understanding and and just ability to form uh closer more um more honest relationships with people that's what i would say and that's you know and in business that is really useful whether or not you are selling or whether or not you're leading a team um you know the stronger you, the relationships that you can form with people um you know the better Great. Okay. And what, what did you actually like about the program, the way it was run? Anything about the program itself? So what I liked about the program uh, was actually that you, you sort of go on this voyage of discovery um, but with a group of people. Um, and, you know, you meet some very interesting people. You know, a lot of training courses, you, you'll meet some interesting people. But, um, uh, yeah, this is... It's a little bit different because you sort of go on this voyage of discovery, if you like, with this group of people and, and the ability, you then have the ability to sort of bounce your thoughts and your ideas off them. And you understand how 
other people might perceive um you know what this this quality of mind thing is all about really um so re really interested to do it with yeah. other people and, and I like what you said, really, it's a voyage of discovery because the whole way this is set up, it's, it's an inquiry into what it is to be a human being and, and how a human mind works. It's an inquiry, it's a voyage of discovery rather than a classic training course. Yes, no, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's, it isn't a classic training course. In fact, I would almost not call it a training course because it's, it's so different. So what advice would you give to anyone that was considering doing it and, and what benefit might they get? So I guess I'd say my advice would be um, go with an open mind. Um, if, if you're recommended any reading material before, do read it, actually. Uh, and I know some people on, our, on the course that I was on didn't and, and struggled and may have wished they had, you know, maybe tried a bit harder to, to get through the reading material. Um, that makes it sound like a chore, but I know I didn't think it was a chore, but uh, horses for courses. Um, yeah, so, so but, but really the most important thing is, is to go with an open mind and, um, and don't, don't sort of pay lip service to it. If you are not getting it, if you are not having that, you know, epiphany or realisation, um, and you'll know when you're having it or have had it, um, you know, push back and... and ask for more explanation, ask for, you know, challenge, challenge, uh, but go with an open mind. Great. Any, any last comments about um, things that you, uh, people can get out of this? Um, I just think uh, it, it's, it's, it's a use, it's a, it's, for me, it's been very useful, both um, in my professional life, as I said, in terms of, you know, my relationships with people to work with, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's also really useful on a personal level as well, just the way that you're able to analyse your feelings um, and understand your emotions better um, in, you know, in all areas of your life um, is, is a really useful thing. You know, there's a lot said about emotional intelligence and how important that is. Um, and I think this is, this is, you know, potentially taking emotional intelligence to, to the next level. Um, so it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a really useful course. So, yeah, I'm, I'm planning on sending my whole, my whole senior team on it. So you know, it's, uh, it gets my approach of approval, certainly. Thank you. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Marty. Cheers.